Death is just part of the cycle of life. Hey, hi. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Angel. I'm uh, in the greenhouse with another green thought, thinking about how the death of one thing just uh, opens the door for the beginning or the birth of another, how eventually death comes to every living thing. So uh, even though at times some deaths might seem like more timely or less timely than others. We, we, uh, I think sometimes we don't feel good about some death and others we do. However, there's just no point feeling bad about it. It's part of life. So for me, uh, plants help remind me of that. And for some reason, animals and, and people, uh, seem even more difficult to get past. However, Similarly, it just is what it is, and every life comes to an end at some point, and part of that essence gets recycled back into something new, or the space left gets filled with something new. Um, that's just what keeps it all moving forward. So as disturbing as it is sometimes, as challenging as it is sometimes to deal with the emotions that come up, with response, in response to death and dying. I'm really grateful for, you know, plants and for um, gardens, trees, forests to really help keep my perspective in perspective, keep me mindful that my perspective is just one and that my sense of time is not the only sense of time. There, there are beings that live hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of years on this planet, like trees. And there are beings that only get like a day, like some insects and lots of things in between. Most things have kind of a natural cycle and a lot of variety within that natural cycle. And that's one of the things that keeps this life beautiful and mysterious and uh, you know, delightful, not knowing, finding out learning. That's my green thought for today, my two cents positive. I hope you're enjoying wherever you are, enjoying whatever parts of the cycle you are in. And uh, to next time, peace, prosperity, positivity, and playfulness. Mm -hmm.